And that's where we began this small community of Galt coming together for two of their officers fighting for their lives. The two were hit on Highway 99 by a driver who crashed through the center median before crashing into them. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for the CBS 13 News at 10. I'm Steve Large. The news is also streaming live on CBS and Sacramento. CBS 13's Renee Santos is live at UC Davis Medical Center with the new details into the collision that shut down Highway 99 for hours today. Renee. Steve, that violent crash is even more shocking for the Galt community that is now learning those officers we're on their way to assist with the Caldor fire when that crash happened. Now both officers are here at UC Davis Medical Center receiving care. Sirens blaring and police radio that details rescued efforts following a brutal crash on Highway 99 near Dillard Road involving two Galt police officers. It looks like a Galt patrol vehicle involved. A solo vehicle did go over the center divide and landed on the northbound side. The aftermath of the damage shows just how bad the crash was. Their squad car hoisted with a crane. Both officers extricated from inside. That phone call is not one you want to get. Galt City Mayor Sean Farmer says his town is now hurting, but also praying for its officers. It's hard. Our department is heavily supported by our community. It was around 4.30 Sunday morning when the officers who were on their way to assist with the Caldor fire, without warning, were hit head on by a driver in a pickup truck who violently slammed into the median, plummeting onto the other side of the highway. Both officers were taken to UC Davis Medical Center, where units from their own department and others parked in a line outside. And now it really breaks my heart. Jeff Silak says friendly police interactions in his hometown happen all the time. We kind of have a personal relationship, and we wave to them when we drive by. We see them, and they talk to us, and we love them, and we support them totally. Now his community is rallying behind the two officers, whose call to action to help Calder fire efforts was tragically interrupted. They're the reason why this town is the way it is. These guys are dedicated, and they stop at nothing. The driver of the truck that caused this crash did die on scene. Two passengers inside that truck were taken to the hospital. The latest update that we received from Galt Police is that one of their officers still remains in critical condition, condition here at the hospital.